Okay, thank you, seven viewers. Let's see if we can get through my monologue before Chris gets cut off again. So we're back at Creech Air Force Base. Chris is a veteran of the Army, and what I've been asking veterans is, why is it so important, so important for you to feel like veterans should be here representing at the base? Uh, now I have nine grandchildren, and I don't want them to experience what we're doing to other kids around the world. Success is soft. For every one person that they intend to kill, they kill 28 innocent men, women, and children. And that's unacceptable. And do you think it has an effect when um, some of the people coming off the base know that you're um, former military? It's, it, hopefully they'll start to question. They'll start to think, well, what are these veterans who used to do the same thing I, I'm doing now? Why are they doing what they're doing? So maybe they'll start to search about it and think about it and, and finally just say enough's enough. And um, as a, a veteran yourself, did you ever experience protesters when you were in the military? Yes. And, and that got me thinking, and I went conscientious objector myself. So after, after a year and a half in the Army, I went CO and stopped. All right. And um, so, so and being at the base, personally, what brings you out here? You mentioned your grandkids. What else is it that um, we're out in the middle of the desert, it's freezing cold in the mornings, and we're up with the sun. Um, what drives you to do this? You can't, sit, you can't stay neutral on a moving train. You have to do something. You just can't sit, sit by. If you have a conscience, you just can't sit by and do nothing. The world's getting crazy. We're killing innocent people. Think about, think about how they're living. Think about knowing that there's a drone a couple miles up and your friends got killed last week. And any second, somebody could push a button from 5,000 miles away and end your existence and end your family. And then when the people come to rescue those people, they get killed again. The, um, the infamous double tap that the military is using. So... Uh, a lot of people maybe not know what they're doing with the drones is they'll strike an intended target and then um, destroy it and then they'll circle around and hover around and wait for rescuers. Exactly. And then when the rescuers come, they strike again. And every time we kill somebody, especially when we kill so-called innocent people, you're creating more terrorists, more people that want to create terror. If, if a drone wiped out my family, I would dedicate my life to ending those people. And um, what about... I know we have some um, supporters of drones across the street over here. I'm going to try to talk to them today. They weren't very friendly to me when <laughs> I mentioned how nice their motorcycle was. Good luck. Um, so what would you say to the people? One of their signs is that UAVs save our soldiers' lives and that they support our troops. What would you say about um, the UAVs, the unmanned aircraft? I think they create more people wanting to harm the United States. Every time you kill somebody... You, you experience blowback, you experience repercussions. There's going to be a natural response. When you kill families, they're going to want to respond. And so it creates a self-perpetuating, self-replicating meme. And it's just an endless cycle that the only people that like are those that profit from war. All right, well, um, thank you, sir. Thanks for your service and thanks for, um, you know, your realization of, you know, how you feel. Thank you. All right, have a good day. I'll see you again. Bye. All right, thank you to your eight viewers. That was a former uh, Army veteran turned conscientious objector. Uh, we're out here at Creech Air Force Base. This is my second day of broadcasting. Sorry for the spotty reception. Uh, it says 4G out here, but as we're finding, it doesn't stop. Now, take a look at these cars here. Yesterday on the way out, this is the war machine at work to me. It's nonstop traffic going into the base. It's a nine to five for these guys. They um, get up, they come here in the morning, they do their work. This base is almost 100% drone. So all these cars you see coming behind these folks, just a steady stream, they all have something to do with drones. And we know now that the US military is training more drone pilots than actual fixed wing pilots. It's, it's a certainty that drones are going to be big in the future of the military. Um, let's move on down the road a little bit more. We're going to get to the Oregon folks soon, so if you're tuning in from Oregon, stay tuned. Um, we're going to go find your family member. He's way over there by these cars over here. We're going to make our way over there in a minute. And I'm going to yell to my girlfriend over there, sorry. Sarah B, check that blue battery. Um, sure, but bring that blue battery back. Uh, we're running on battery power out here, so I had to, um, we're charging another battery in the car for my phone. Uh, left my phone's location on all night, 
so it searched for my location all night and it was dead in the morning. All right, we're doing good here. Hey, viewers, see you guys again. You've been on in the background. Okay, good job, Frank. Moving down into the sunrise. Watch the traffic here. Take a look at this sign. That's a good one, a good duct tape drone. She's out here giving the peace sign. How you doing, ma'am? Good. You want to say anything to the, um, the people watching? I have um, nine viewers on the line. Thank you, nine viewers. If we drop out periodically, stay tuned. I'll reboot right away. And um, we have this woman out here. You want to say your name? I haven't met you. Sure. Hi, I'm Catherine Our Ourcade, and, and I'm from Stockton, California. And what brings you out to Crete so cold? Uh, I'm out here because I believe that the drone program specifically is illegal, immoral. We are denying, even if we are killing alleged terrorists, we d are denying them due process, which is one of the foundations of our democracy. We are killing more civilians than we are alleged terrorists. Um, and I can't not do something about it. I'm with Code Pink, uh, and, uh... Well, I, one thing ahead. I've been asking people that are out here is, why particularly drones? You know, there's landmines, there's perpetual war going on. What is it that got you um, out here for drones particularly? Well, it's remote controlled murder, and I believe that it's a sign of our distancing ourselves from the reality of what we are doing. And um, as we become more and more technological, um, this, specifically the drone program, allows people to um, deny what they are doing in a way that we've never been able to before. Well, thank you for being out here. Um, we're streaming live on the KPFA video channel. Uh, she's out here holding up a sign, giving the peace sign, actually, too, to all these passing cars that I've been telling you are just flooding into the base like a 9 to 5 job. It's amazing. So thank you for talking to us. Thank you. We'll see you on the way back. I'm just going to move down the line to one more sign, and then I'm going to get over to the Oregon man. So if you're tuning in from Oregon, stay tuned. Your friend, your family is coming up. Let's get out here a little further. Oops. How you doing? Oh, I got you guys yesterday. Yeah. How you doing today? There's some um, some people we saw yesterday. There's my shadow again. Let me. Uh, tired of endless wars. Resist. Refuse. Disarm. You guys want to say anything today, or should I move along? Her sign says it all. Their, her sign says their sign says it all. Tired of endless wars. Yes. Refuse. Resist, refuse, disarm. Now you can probably see it a little better. Well, thanks for being out here holding your signs. Cheers, thanks for joining us. We got nine viewers. Thanks for getting the word out. All right, yep. Hi to the viewers. Hi to the viewers. All right, so tell your friends, um, we're going to be going till approximately 8 o'clock. I'm going to make my way back to the base area, the entrance more. It's really packed out there. I don't know if you can see all those cars moving. That's just base traffic. Um, these guys are all coming into their... Oh, let me get my tripod out of the way. A little more. Uh, I'm standing in front of their sign. So these guys are all just driving in today for drone duty or whatever it is that they do. We know Creech Air Force Base is basically drone operation. There's not much more to it. We've seen some jet pilots yesterday. Uh, it's really amazing to be out here just to be.